This is a video of a craniotomy to remove a brain tumor. The tumor is located in the right frontal lobe. The operation starts by making an arced incision in the skin. Sponges are attached along both wound edges to achieve hemostasis in the scalp. The skin flaps are dissected from the cranium. The skin flaps are kept away from the cranium with rubber bands. The craniotomy starts by drilling two holes in the cranium. A bone flap is then cut out, starting from these two holes. The bone flap is carefully loosened from the dura mater. Here, we are looking down at the dura. A hole is drilled in the bone edge. This will be used to secure the dura at the end of the procedure. An operating microscope is used for the brain dissection. The dura mater is opened. The membrane is held away with a suture. The tumor is located superficially with uncertain delimitation. The cerebrotomy is started using bipolar coagulation. A biopsy is taken for frozen sectioning. This confirms the presence of an adenoma. All visible tumor tissue is resected using the Cavitron ultrasound unit. This instrument hits the tumor tissue with ultrasound waves while simultaneously flushing and sucking. Here we see several bits of the tumor. We flush the cavity where the tumor was situated and insert self-absorbing coagulation sponges. The dura is sutured back in place and attached to the holes in the bone edge. More sponges are applied. A suture is placed in the middle of the dura flap. This is attached to the drill hole in the bone flap to prevent the accumulation of blood between the bone flap and the dura. The bone flap is attached to the cranium with three craniofix screws. The muscle and epicranial aponeurosis are stitched back over the cranium and the wound edges on the outer skin are closed with staples. These are pre- and post-operative MRI images. 
the craniotomy is clearly visible here. The images show that the tumor has been completely removed.